Here are some uh, popular faces uh, with more on the impact of BYU and Coach Edwards uh, that they continue to also have on the game today. It kind of became this self-fulfilling prophecy in terms of the more you do, the more successful you are, the more people are going to be drawn to it, the more it allows you to adapt and build. And so it became, this became the place to go to in terms of wanting to throw the ball, both as uh, quarterbacks, receivers, offensive lines. I mean, if you think about the history of college football, 150 years of college football, name another program that had a list of back-to-back-to-back all-American quarterbacks. And I'm not sure if there is one. From me to Mark Wilson to Jim McMahon to Steve Young, and then Robbie Bosco was a second-team All-American and won the national championship, and then Ty Detmer was an All-American quarterback and won the Heisman Trophy, and then the quarterbacks after that. Um, it was just an interesting run of tremendous players that really listened to the coaches and developed under these coaches. Jim McMahon was a phenom. I mean, he threw, and we were, you know, people were throwing the ball. Who was throwing the ball in 1980, 81? Miami, maybe a little bit. Stanford, a little bit. Because if you threw the ball or wanted to coach a quarterback, or you wanted to play quarterback or, or coach a quarterback or be famous throwing the football back in the 1980s, you had to be a BYU. I think, you know, Lavelle had the vision of this is what we need to do to win. And so whoever was here, that's the type of coach he wanted and, and type of coach that would teach the game. And we didn't have a bunch of yellers and screamers and, and coaches that just were drill sergeants and jump on guys all the time. They, they taught you the game and they taught you why you're doing things and, and allowed you to have some of those freedoms. But all that was under his direction. You know, he wasn't, he wasn't always the X and O guy in the offensive meeting room, uh, but he knew what he wanted and he knew what he wanted to accomplish and, and how he wanted to do it. So it's, it's a dance step and we were timed up. Everyone knew their timing and no one could keep track of us. And uh, uh, when I see Tom Brady, what he's doing and what Peyton did in the 2000s, it was an extension of what we were back doing in the 1980s in college. It's like taking advantage of the of the intricacies of the relationship between coach, I mean, from quarterback to receiver, so that no matter what happens, we, you and I have a plan. And they perfected that in even today. Oh, I think indirectly he's influenced the NFL a great deal. I mean, and, you know, whether it's former assistants or just concepts that he ran, uh, he's got a huge footprint with regard to football at all levels. When I came into the league, everybody said that I threw the ball too much. And they hammered me on it. And, and, and now they tell you, you cannot win in the National Football League without throwing the ball. Where did that start? That started with Lavelle Edwards. So, I mean, he touched not only the college football world and changed it, uh, but he also changed professional football, which is genius.